pharmacies will be limiting children's pain medication purchases as respiratory illnesses continue to rise. CVS has announced a two-product limit online and in stores, while Walgreens is limiting customers to six purchases online. The CDC says respiratory viruses are at high levels nationwide. Dr. Samir Patel is an infectious disease physician at Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago. Uh, doctor, thanks for coming on. And uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about what types of cases you're seeing at your hospital. And is this thing still ramping up or is it beginning to plateau or what, what's your read on it? Unfortunately, we're still um, having shortages for common uh, antibiotics uh, and medications to treat influenza. Um, we're still in the thick of a uh, respiratory viral season. Uh, there are, have been some improvements in certain suppliers um, supply for, um, you know, at various parts of the Chicago area, but still I'm hearing from parents all the time that they have trouble um, getting prescriptions. So let's talk about what parents can do if they run into a shortage of these medications. I know over the summer, the whole family had COVID, and for our two-year-old daughter, we were told to alternate between ibuprofen and Tylenol every four or five hours or so. But when parents can't get a hold of these medications, what do you recommend? Yeah, so I would talk to the pediatrician for uh, uh, a medication that's uh, over the counter. Um, they they may be able to. Um, have knowledge about other pharmacies that, that, that have availability, particularly part of a larger hospital network. For prescription medicines like antibiotics, um, there may be um, options, uh, either different preparations of the same antibiotic um, or an alternative antibiotic that could be prescribed to treat that condition. Mm -hmm. Right. Dr. Patel, obviously the holidays offer a bit of a double-edged sword. Kids out of school, but now families are traveling and gathering with uh, larger groups uh, more than ever. A any particular guidelines or recommendations you might want to give out to folks who might be watching right now as far as keeping families safe over the holidays? I, I think it's very important to, to receive your vaccinations for both influenza and the bivalent COVID vaccine. Uh, it's important to, um, when possible in large settings, um, to uh, to wear masks to limit transmission, uh, and finally, common sense um, measures like frequent hand washing and uh, staying away from people who are obviously sick um, can reduce um, the need to have these medicines to treat fevers and infections. All right, Dr. Samir Patel, thank you so much for your time and good luck with treating all of those kids. An infectious disease phys physician again at Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. Thank you. Thank you so much.